that L'Oreal just released. It is part of their Infallible Pro Glow Foundation kind of little set. And it is the Infallible Pro Glow Longwear Powder. It's this one right here, as well as the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. I also picked up a brand new um, L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation in the color Buff Beige. This is usually the color that I use. And I have reviewed the foundation before. I've reviewed the Pro Glow versus Pro Matte Foundation, and I'll leave that video listed down below. But today, I'm gonna review this entire set together because these two products just recently came out for the line, and I'm very intrigued to try them out because I love this foundation. If a glowy, dewy foundation look is something that's really up your stream, I think that you'll really love this foundation. But today, we're gonna test it out with the concealer and the powder as well. So the Infallible Pro Glow Powder is rated four out of five stars on the Ulta app. It retails for $12.99. The Pro Glow Powder actually comes in about eight different colors. So there's eight different shades to choose from. The color I chose was 24 Natural Beige. It just seemed like something a little bit more around my color. And if you look closely into the powder, the top section has this kind of shimmery shade and then the bottom section is matte. What you can do with this is actually mix both powders and then just apply it all over your face. Or you can use the bottom powder all over your face and then you can use the top section almost like a highlight for different parts of your face if you wanted to. The Infallible Pro Glow Concealer is given three and a half out of five stars on there, so I'll see how I feel about that. It also comes in eight different colors. The color I picked up is Nude Beige 03 and you would basically use this as you would with any other concealer. As for the Pro Glow Foundation, I have talked about this before and I've used this in so many different videos as well. It lasts a really long time, it leaves you with a glowy, dewy finish, and it feels very lightweight on the skin, which makes it perfect for summer or even all year round if you just wanna have a glowy, dewy finish all year round. Totally up to you, I like the idea. So I have my hair up for this video just so that it's not really in the way. I am gonna first start off with foundation. I actually enjoy the process of putting foundation on before concealer, just because at the end you won't really have to use that much concealer. If you have tried the Pro Matte Foundation and you haven't tried the Pro Glow Foundation, just a little tip, this drips so easily. It's a much more watery consistency, so you kind of have to be quick with it. And I'm just gonna use my little blending sponge here and blend that in. All right, now that foundation is on, I am gonna go in with the Infallible Pro Glow Concealer cause mama got some dark circles right here. So we're gonna fix that up. So before I blend, I just wanna say something. Instantly, I noticed how lightweight this is. This is just as lightweight as the foundation. I was so scared it was gonna be like this sticky tar kind of concealer. I cannot stand those kinds of concealers. It's disgusting. They leave the worst creases. This feels so lightweight on my skin. So lightweight on my face right now like I literally feel like I have nothing on it's just very very lightweight very very creamy super easy to blend very hydrating I don't see as much creasing I was expecting some creasing I mean that just happens with concealer let's be honest even when people say oh I don't see creasing they be creasing that was hands down and I'm not just saying this that was hands down the easiest concealer I've ever blended once again, the color that I grabbed for the powder is 24 Natural Beige. I'm gonna open this up because I haven't opened it up yet. All right, so when you open it up inside, you have the highlight and the powder. I am gonna use both. 
Um, but I think I'm going to use the powder first separate and then the highlight separate just because I don't know how I feel about an entire shimmery face. I just want to swatch the top on my hand. Don't know if you guys can see that, but that's quite shimmery. By the way, guys, it does come with a sponge underneath, but I want to use a brush. So, got that here. And we're going to apply this where I put the concealer first. This is the matte powder. Okay, so I did pick a good color, but... I'm seeing now with the matte powder that it's kind of taking away that glowy look. Yeah, it's like slowly starting to take away the glowy, dewy finish. I'm going to stay away from the powder, but I do want to use the highlight. I'm going to actually grab a smaller brush for that one. So I prefer the highlight in the powder set over the matte one. Don't really know how the matte and the highlight one would look. Maybe it would balance it out. Um, but I don't, I didn't like that when I applied the matte under here. It kind of took away that glowy, dewy finish. So luckily I did not apply that on the rest of my face and I just started under the concealer and I realized, wait, stop, don't do it. <laughs> so that is the final foundation, concealer and powder all on the face. I really, really actually like the way it came out. As mentioned, I flippin' love this foundation, so it wasn't really a surprise to me that I love the highlight in the powder as well as the concealer. The matte powder, not as much, but at least you have the option to use one, the other, or both. That is gonna conclude this video, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. As always, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe because I make videos every single week. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video.